Hello, and welcome to Cole's Backyard Coop. Well, it's a hot, hot afternoon here in Florida. 91 degrees, maximum humidity. And I uh, wanted to bring you an update on the uh, pullets now. They are 18 weeks old on Monday. And I've integrated them in with my adult girls, which as of today, I only have three adult hens left of my other flock. And I opened the door and let the 18-week-old um, teenagers in. And the adults really didn't bother them at all. I was kind of surprised, but they've been seeing each other for... Um, months, I mean, since they were two weeks old, they've been able to see them through the wire of this other cage, uh, the adjoining um, coop that I have. So it was a really smooth, easy transition. Of course, the adults are going to be uh, bullying them just a little, but as you can see, it's pretty calm. I mean, I just let them in here about an hour ago. And everybody's getting along. Everybody's having a good time here. And um, dust bathing. The young ones are feeling relaxed. They're they're checking out the inside, the hen house. They're they're like, what is this? What are these boxes for? They will find out soon enough. So everybody's doing good now. Let's talk about what's been happening the last couple of weeks. With all this rain and, and everything and the hot temperatures, your chickens um, can get a bacterial infection. I've really never had an issue with it, but I feel like because they, um, on this side, which I'm going to talk about why I have the two over here, they have a bacterial infection. Um, a respiratory infection. So I'm keeping them separate. Um, I feel like because of all the rain, and this was a small area, I kept it very clean. As you know, I keep everything very clean, but you can't fight uh, bacteria and things that get into your girls. That's why it's very important. Always keep the water containers really clean and free of slime and bleach them out really good once a month is what I do get all the algae and stuff out of the container and make sure the food containers are clean that the bottom is raked and as free of poop and debris as possible and then I put hay down to keep it dry and free of moisture um, but they got an upper respiratory infection which is very bad in chickens it can kill your whole flock, pretty much. Everybody that was on this side had the infection, which is 13 birds. Now, that was three weeks ago. I'm happy to say I'm down to two. The rest of these over here recovered really nicely. I did not lose any birds at all. I was on the brink of losing my little speckled Sussex right there. Violet, she was really bad, not eating, not drinking. Um, some of the symptoms you would see is, you see how this one is a little bit gasping for air? They get congestion, like you and I do when we have a really bad cold and you can't breathe, and you just have to mouth breathe. That's what she's doing. She's, this is better for her right now. She was doing it really bad. And I really thought she was, that was it. She was gone. And then the um, well summer over there, she's had it a little bit. So I'm keeping these two separate because I don't want to bring it over to the main coop, the adults, and reinfect. But guys, you've got to address the issue quickly. Start medicating the entire flock. Um, and uh, get this treated and under control or you will lose your flock. Um, some of the symptoms that I noticed was the sneezing. 
the wheezing. Um, my white rock right there, underneath her beak where the wattle is growing in, was swollen. It looked like a big marble under there. Big round swollen sticking out. Um, a couple of them had runny eyes, like pussy eyes. Um, then, um, what else did they have? Um, liquid dripping from the mouth, which is like mucus. And um, it was bad, I'm telling you. And the only thing I can think of is um, another way they can get it is if you go and visit like a farm or something somewhere and they have chickens and those chickens are infected. If you see a sick bird when you go to somebody else's place, you better even burn those shoes that you used to go there. Because unless you wash them and sanitize those shoes really well, you're going to bring that infection back to your flock. So you want to be really careful. And if you don't purchase a bird, if you see a sick bird um, on somebody's property, just don't buy any bird, even though the other ones look healthy, don't buy one. It's not worth it. So to get this treated, what did I do? In case you ever see this happen. I use this product called Vet, V-E-T-R-X, R-X. It's for management of, of um, healthy respiratory system. It's an oil. It's got um, Canadian balsam. It's got camphor oil in it. It smells like eucalyptus is what it smells like. So you want to be sure that you start addressing the issue right away. Um, if you put it in the water, you have to heat it up because it's oil. So oil and water, you know what happens. Um, I even put drops of it on the food. It says you can do that. And for the ones that are really bad, you can even put um, drops of it down their throat. And that way they get it directly. So that's what I've been doing with um, dough is what I'm calling her. Because she looks doe-eyed. So, there's my husband over there walking around the yard. Hello, hubby. <laughs> but, I, um, and then they'll stop eating. They might not be drinking. Different ones will have different systems. Some of them bounce back after a week. These are taking a lot longer. So, and see how she's laying down and kind of, yeah, I don't know if she's going to make it. Sometimes they recommend, if they never come out of it, to call them. And I really hate to call her, um, which is put her down, because it's never going to get better. And she's not, I wouldn't say suffering. She eats and she drinks. She sleeps. But it, it's just not going to get better. So, yeah, you got to be really careful. So what I did to overcome it with, with these guys was... Um, I look for things that they like to eat. I gave them broccoli, apple, dried oats, anything I could get them to eat that's going to put weight on them because they'll lose weight too. I doubled the vitamins that are in the water. Okay, a couple of things to have in your arsenal for your chicken. Let's go to my chicken medicine cabinet. Chicken medicine cabinet. Okay. This is your Vet RX. Okay. You can get it online. You can get it at your local um, feed store. This is what I put in their water. And I doubled the dose. Vitamins and electrolytes with lactobacillus, made by Rooster Booster. It's got the electrolytes, it's got all the good stuff. Now, I also put at the feed store, they sell it for fish so that they can legally sell it, but it's tetracycline. You can put that in the water, it's an antibiotic. 
It's approved to treat respiratory infections, but I would switch off from the tetracycline and the um, rooster booster, okay? And then I would put this in on the food and down their throat directly. Okay, so. Doing this one-handed. All the other things I keep in my arsenal. Um, DE, diatomaceous earth, um, food grade. I'm gonna discuss why I use that in the food. It's a natural warmer. And um, then I also use premium moisture shell to give them a little extra calcium if you think the shells of the eggs are um, weak. But the diatomaceous earth, when I show you how I prepare the nest boxes for the young ones, I sprinkle some in the bottom of the nest box under the straw to keep bugs out and stuff. Lice, mites, all of that stuff. But by doing all of that, I was able to not lose any birds so far. This one, I know it looks like she's laying on her side, but she's just relaxing. She's, she's okay. But the well summer has gotten better. Again, my speckled Sussex, I thought for sure, I don't know where she went. They're inside. See, when they find pine shavings for the first time, they're like, what are these? But you can see now, no coughing, no wheezing on this end. I'm very lucky that I was able to get it under control because it will demolish a flock. And while you're giving them tetracycline, by the way, if they're already laying, you can't eat the eggs for three weeks. So that's why I didn't want my layers getting infected. So I kept them over there as long as I could. They're too big now. They needed more room. So now they're over here. Doing great, healthy, eating. But a combination of doubling the dose of vitamins in the water, putting the Vet RX on the food, making sure to give them things that they'll eat, entice them to eat. Apple, veggies, whatever they wanted. Um, I give it to them anyway, but I wanted to make sure I gave them the oats twice a day and stuff that I needed to make sure that they were going to survive it. And they did. I'm taking the extra precaution of keeping these two separate because I don't want to infect the adults that are on this other side. So, respiratory infection, guys. Hope you never get it. I have never had it. This was my first time. And I'm in my 11th years of chickens. And I've brought in other birds. Usually, when you bring in a new bird, you're supposed to quarantine them for up to 30 days to make sure there's no illness or infection. Um, I've always been lucky and not done it. Because based on where I go and visit, if I do not see any sick birds, any coughing, sneezing, you, you look for all the signs before I ever purchase a bird from anybody. When you get them as chicks, they're coming from a hatchery, you're good. But if you find somebody local in your area that you want to go buy chickens from, heed the warning and be very careful before you buy the bird and observe and look around. It's so funny, these adults are making all this squawky noises because I introduced these others. So they're just kind of upset about it. <laughs> I want to go see what these babies are doing inside. I'm sure they're scratching and kicking. Let's go see. Oh, hi. Look at them. They're having a field day in there. What are you doing? I almost lost Miss Violet. I'm glad she's okay. You guys cannot tear up the sleeping and nesting areas. You gotta be nice. Look at her. You're just coming in the nest. 
Let's become familiar with what an egg is. That's why you get them the artificial egg. So that they can get used to it. <laughs> All right, honey. Get back down. Oh, boy. You quit digging over there. They're going to dig, and then they learn manners and stop digging. <laughs> it's all new to them. All right, guys, so I wanted to bring you the latest update. Um, you the advice on respiratory infections. I'm thankful all of mine are good. Um, these have healed like over a week ago. They haven't coughed, sneezed, anything, which is awesome. And I'll bring you the next update soon. Feel free to leave a comment. Like the video if you did. Hopefully it teaches you a little something. And hello to Debbie out there in Australia. Good day, mate. That's my Australian accent. Debbie, I hope I did all right. I would love to come see Australia. That would be so cool. All right. Anyway, guys, hello to everyone else out there. I really appreciate all my viewers and subscribers. I'm like almost up to 900. I'm like, that's exciting for me because I'm just a, I'm not trying to be famous on the internet. I mean, seriously. Who has time for that? But my girls are famous on the internet. And I hope they bring you a little joy in seeing them. And it teaches you some information. And all right now. Like the video if you did. And subscribe if you haven't. Feel free to leave a comment. From Cole's Backyard Coop. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day wherever you are. Ah, uh, two weeks and I'll be on vacation. We're going up to Georgia. So if I see any chickens, I'll do a video. But stay cool wherever you are. It's so hot. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Say bye, girls. Everybody be nice to one another. Bye. <laughs> I'll take a closer look in here. It's going to be raining here soon. Look at this one taking a dirt bath. This is Hazel. Oh, yeah. You taking a dirt bath? Your little comb is starting to come in. Yeah. Your comb's coming in. Oh, calm down. Don't get all upset about it. Scared of this camera? I love my bard rocks. Alright, talk to you again soon, guys. Hopefully we'll have an egg soon to bring you an update on. Take care out there. Bye. Bye. Isn't that right, Ginger? Oh, yeah. I knew they were going to just make a big mess inside there. Big old mess. It's part of growing up. Alright guys, take care. Bye.